starting out, you can start by sort of matching up those lines and pinning. I don't worry about that too much anymore, but it's a good way to start. So basically I just start trying to put the leg on, more or less. You can also, if you don't like doing gymnastics, you can do this for a friend. Um, I find in Rintalan, a lot of the older ladies or people who are larger do not feel comfortable doing this themselves or can't. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'll say it probably but you know, to... with a friend is fine. Yeah. So, so it's that you're getting this all this bunching around this point. And I didn't really start off talking about this. Sorry, it's a bit scatty of me. But we've got two basic styles. So one where it goes down the leg and it comes to a point like this, or even a point all the like going all the way around the foot and you get a slit here that cuts open like that, so you get two triangular areas here. So that, that's one basic style. Some of those wrinkles. So you can start off being fairly careless with your cuts, just to get rid of just to get rid of some of it there. And then we're going to have to tidy it up a bit. So you can see most of those wrinkles have gone. There's still a bit of gross here. But we're going to start pinning. My leg piece down to my foot piece. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh no, wait. Yours. It's also a good workout. Yoga and you end up with a pattern at the end of it. <laughs> We're starting off with this style that just goes in an arch over the foot. Yeah, so this is one of a couple of styles, but this is the first one I'm going to demonstrate. So obviously they don't need the flappy bit. I'm just going to release that. And you see, as soon as I release it, there's extra room here now. So, so this is still wrinkly right here. You want to try and get as much of that wrinkle out as possible. This side is pretty good for those that can see it. Mm -hmm. I can actually go right up to that, but I want to get rid of a little bit more of this fabric over here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can kind of straighten up your lines afterwards. It just has to punch. As you're cutting, I see you're cutting very close. Do you have the seam allowance that uh, yes. you've got? Yeah, I tend to um, use a quarter inch seam allowance for this. If you're machine sewing it, there's a lot of tight curves. It's much easier to sew the tight curves with a very small seam allowance. And then, so I use a quarter inch seam allowance and then I just zigzag the seam allowance and it, they last forever, or as long as the fabric lasts for. And I'm just going to try and pin the bits together slowly. Any extra fabric will just be released. Getting these uh, your fingers around these curvy bits can be a little bit of a challenge. See, this looks a little narrower. I'd probably just bring that out just to there. You can down to a tiny bit lower too. Yeah, exactly. But all in all, it's basically you could pick this up and cut that out, cut fabric out of that. Now. 